Welcome back to Stories at Work, a series where I've been speaking with leaders and asking them to share their experiences and what they learned from it. Continuing my conversation with Deepa Soman, the founder and managing director of Lumaire, I asked her to share an incident from the recent past where she learned something very valuable. And this is what she had to say. So, you know, I see all my life, I've been told that, and I know it, that I'm a very blunt and an outspoken person. And I've really not thought too much about it because as far as I was concerned, I'm telling the truth and, or I'm saying it as is, as it is. And it's well intentioned. So if at that point in time, if it ruffles a few feathers, I don't really think too much about it until 2013. We were probably in the midst of a change exercise internally. We hired an external uh, coach to help us through the organizational change journey. And uh, on the end of the first day uh, when we started the workshop, we called it Refresh. So uh, he gives us a very interesting concept and uh, he put, put it up on the board and he said, O-R-I-D, ORID. And just before telling us that, giving us that concept, I had responded in a very impulsive manner. So, you know, we were a team of about 20 people and I remember blurting out something with a lot of passion and um, just a lot of energy. But probably that comment and the timing was not okay. And I have been like that. I, uh, you know, the idea strikes me and then I say it. And then so it's almost like, so he used the term uh, shoot, fire and aim, I think. That's what he called it, fire and aim. And then he put this construct on the board and I think it's kind of become, it, it kind of just percolated from my head to my heart. And I don't even know how many times I've used it in formal and non informal conversations. It's called ORID, the ORID framework. It's an acronym for observe, reflect, uh, introspect, interpret, and decide, so O-R-I-D. So it's really that gray area when the thought strikes you, when you actually pause rather than go and, you know, put the foot on the accelerator. And I tell you, I see, I think from the time that I've made that shift of actually practicing ORID, I've seen myself have far better relations, you know, with my clients, with my team, I, I don't think people now need to be afraid of an attack or a, you know, a reaction because I'm not reacting, I'm really responding. And I think I needed that shift at times when you just need a little calm, you need reflection, you need thought, you need to observe. And then you come to that opportune way when you will give that message in a way that's delivered uh, with compassion, gently, and in a way that will actually make the other person really get it, you know, for the message to land. I'm sure you'd agree that that was a very powerful story and it made it more impactful because she gave us the context and that's what stories do. You can learn about how to use the power of stories in my book, Stories at Work. Thank you for watching.